Okay guys, for this topic tonight, you and luck is the tone we've suggested. A PCM tone that can be found in the synth lead category. And uh... As you can hear, it's quite an interesting tone. And we've chosen it to examine the structure. So the first thing we will do is press uh, the shift key and select tone edit. And we notice that it's only using partials 3 and 4 as shown here. And it's using two uh, internal, internal waveform number 550. We notice that uh, the structure 1 and 2, which is not being used, is set to 2. And the structure 3 and 4, which is being used, is set to 1. So the partials are independent. But we can change that, you know. Let's uh, go through the various structures and see what happens. Okay, when we reach structure 5, we notice a mark change. Go back to one which was our original one. Obviously the structure changes by itself may not be quite as drastic as you would like, but the thing is we didn't trouble with any other settings. And as I say the most daunting thing about changing these tones is finding the right parameters to change to create the sound you want. So we're now going to go and look at the uh, architecture or topology of the various structure types. Large number of parameters that are available in the Roland FA06 for the PCM synth tones. The huge number of parameters that you can change uh, and how they affect the sound is what really stops musicians from experimenting and creating their very own custom tones. And uh, tonight we're looking at the PMT tab. Now we have the structures as you can see. For the partials, we can set up the structure type for 1 and 2, and we can set up the structure type for 3 and 4, since they're handled in pairs. And we can have a different type for each partial. Now observe here what's happening with the 10 types that we have. If you want the standard approach where the partials are just combined and uh, each partial you can turn it on and off and there's just sorts of adds it together like additive synthesis, you use type 1 which just has each wave generator followed by the filter and followed by the VCA. You can change the system so that you combine the filters together 
and the path is shown here in type 2 where you can see that the partials are no longer independent but they're being combined and traveling through both filters one after the other then the remaining types allow you to insert a booster for distortion or a ring modulator to produce effects now if you've watched my videos on the analog modular synthesizer you would see the type of sounds that a ring modulator produces so i'll put those links in the description however but as you can see here a whole four five of these six of these types involve inserting the ring modulator at various places now a ring modulator by definition has two inputs and it add it sort of multiplies it doesn't add add is just mixing it multiplies the two signals together and produces uh, inharmonic partials so therefore it absolutely works to create bell or metallic type sounds now this gives you some idea of what you can do with these types but the actual exploration of that is left up to you so you only have two choices explore willy-nilly like how you would do in patching in a modular or just change the types and see how it sounds and tweak the settings and see how it sounds and and sort of learn by experiment or if you're trying to get a feel for a specific type of sound the best thing to do is to find a preset that sounds similar to the sound you're trying to create and then you can go and look and see which of the types is used in that preset so you use the for any of the presets that come with the FAO6, you can view all of the parameters and settings to see how and what parameters are used for that particular sound. And this will eventually, when combined with your own exploration, give you an idea of how to create new sounds that you want. So I can't stress enough that the ability to create sounds, new and original tones on an FAO6 is up to you to try. Try different things and play with the settings and see how it affects the sound. Hours and hours spent changing all of the many parameters. As I said, what is so daunting about it is the large number of things you can change. It's very, very flexible. But you can get completely immersed and lost in sound creation on the FAO6. Most musicians never do. They simply just press the presets and play them, maybe make a couple of little changes and resave re it. But it's pretty much the same tone. You've just adapted it here and there. But if you want to create radically new sounds or if you want to master the instrument, there's absolutely nothing stopping you from experimenting so i'd like to the big takeaway is experiment and learn in advance what the experiments are going to do by looking at some of the presets of the category of sounds that you're hoping to create thanks for watching see you in the next video